Arsenal hit the road this week with a visit to Whitley Park in the northeast as the reserves play their penultimate game of the season. Newcastle legend Peter Beersley knows his team will have a tough challenge today against the Gunners, who are unbeaten in their last six matches and currently lie in second place in the table in what's been a highly encouraging season for the young side. Ireland under-21 international Connor Henderson makes his return to the squad after an eight-month layoff following a cruciate knee ligament injury. Leading the line is German Thomas Eisfeld, who makes only his second reserve team appearance since joining the club from Borussia Dortmund in January. Danny Boateng gets a place in the starting lineup, having returned from a loan spell at Swindon Town. And promising youngster Josh Rees is given the nod following his good run of form in the youth squad. The Magpies come into the match off the back of three heavy defeats, conceding 13 goals in the process. And will no doubt be looking to steady the ship, particularly in defence, on home soil. Group of committed Arsenal fans making the trip to Whitley Park. Arsenal in great form coming into this game. Just two defeats in nine since the turn of the year. Conceded just five goals in those nine games. And conceded only one in their last six before today. Here's Thomas Eisfeldt. Reese and Ozjikup in support. Ozjikup driving goalwards. Tipped away by Jack Alwick. Ozzy Cup has been in fine form this season, probably the pick of the reserve players. Anger. Ozzy Cup looking to link up with Eisfeld, but dispossessed by Jeff Henderson. Searches out Philly Perry, gets his shot away, but dragged wide of James Shea's goal. First chance Newcastle have had in the game, but not enough to get their fans off their seats. Ozzy Cup, looking to switch the play, which he does successfully, finding Josh Reese on the far side. Two in the middle, here's Eisfeld, nice turn. Oh, an even better finish. Arsenal in front, a lovely move. And a sweet finish from the German Thomas Eisfeld. Just his second appearance since joining the club in January. Oshikup switching the play to the far side. Rees driving the ball into the feet of Eisfeld, who turned and shot all in one move. And Arsenal lead after 17 minutes. Oshikup delivers, and it's Mikel that strikes the bar with a header. Newcastle clear and Arsenal close to doubling their advantage. Alwick was well beaten, but the bar comes to Newcastle's rescue. Connor Henderson delivers from the far side, cleared away by Unzuzi. Arsenal can come again. Mead sends the ball back out to Henderson. Delivers early, a teasing cross. Hanger couldn't keep it down. The chances are all going the way of the visitors at the moment. Arsenal seem the more likely to score again. Henderson with a pinpoint delivery. Anger unfortunate not to turn home. Taylor. Josh Reese who's able to clear. Now Richardson loses out. Chance for Arsenal to break as you cup on the far side. <laughs> Newcastle getting men behind the ball. Ebersilio. Now Henderson, seeing lots of the ball on his return, Connor Henderson. It's been a long layoff, he'll be pleased to be back on the field. Here's Eisfeldt. Nearly got his second of the night, a diving save from Jack Alwick. Arsenal heading towards the break with a goal advantage. The Whitley Park floodlights called for as darkness descends on the second half. Bellerin was closed down. Here's Michael Richardson who shoots not far away. Newcastle starting the brighter of the two teams in the second half. Worrying signs perhaps for Neil Banfield. 
Here with the ball over the top onto the far side. It's Daniel Taylor. It's a ball that comes all the way through to Donaldson. Managed to get a shot away. Always rising over James Shea's bar. We've certainly seen a lot more of Newcastle in the second half than we did in the first. Arsenal defensively will have to be on their toes. Long ball from Henderson. Intercepted by Anger. And Zuzi will keep it in play. And he gets the better of Anger. Chance here for Newcastle. Oh, well recovered, though, from Martin Anger. Corner for the home team. He's shown his versatility this season, Martin Anger, for the reserves and the U team. Can play anywhere across the back four. It's a corner that's caught everyone out. Here's Donaldson. It's a better delivery. Now Taylor. Gets his cross in and comes all the way through to Henderson. Who's headed wide. Newcastle piling the pressure on. James Shea, though, has rarely been tested so far. Ozzy Cup, so often the creator for Arsenal. They'll be looking to him to try and find a crucial second goal. He's picked out Bellerin. And there's a turn of pace from Bellerin that gets beyond Riley. Oh, his pass was a poor one, but he's got it back off a Newcastle defender. Fires wide. Proof that Arsenal do have an attacking threat. Bellerin. Impressive on this near side. Played a 1-2 with a Newcastle defender. Will be disappointed with his finish. Ozzyko. Again, his range of passing clearly on show this evening. He's on the ball again. Kyle Evasilio. Ozzyko shakes off the challenge of Daniel Taylor. And he's got plenty of options going forward. He's picked out Eisfeld. Just rolls wide, agonisingly wide from the German. He's the scorer of the only goal of the game so far. And nearly added to his tally. Madison's run was stopped. Here's Nzuzi. It's opposite fullback Riley. Donaldson on this near side. Curling cross, said he clear by Danny Boateng. And Arsenal to defend another corner. Taylor to take on the far side. Plenty of options for Newcastle. Shot comes in off the line from Ogikup. And then Donaldson shot off the line again from Ogizan Ogikup. Free kick goes Newcastle's way, and if Arsenal do get these three points, there'll be a huge pat on the back for Ozzy Cup, who twice denied Newcastle there, initially from Airy and then from Donaldson. Patrick Nzuzi has been a threat down that far side, the Newcastle fullback, he's gone past Mead. Arsenal don't agree, but that will be a corner to the home side. Pressure continues to mount on that goal into the closing stages as Nzuzi sends in the cross, Shea punches clear, oh, and it's come back off the bar from Michael Richardson shot. It's Henderson now. Trying to bustle his way through the Arsenal defenders, it falls through to James Shea, and Arsenal can breathe a sigh of relief once again, as Richardson sees his shot cannon back off the bar. Phil Roberts, now Bellerin, as you cut, shout of keep the ball from the Arsenal bench, if they do that they will see themselves through to three points, as you cut, Bellerin, when it's come back to Bellerin, a chance to seal it now, save from Alwick, Bellerin couldn't turn home, but Arsenal seems to have done enough to grab the three points here. I think it was a, a game to two halves in the 
games of different styles in two halves. I thought the first half, the, you know, we played some really nice football, and I think second half, Newcastle really worked us hard and got amongst us and made it tough for us. And I think we, even under pressure, we were really trying to play, and I thought it was a overall really good performance and in different halves, football-wise, and in uh, commitment and spirit and and. Uh, not wanting to get beat and becoming then them games make you footballers you know we've had a long start we started at eight o'clock this morning and we've come up up here and it's always hard to come up north and it's a good game and yeah delighted with the performance in the first half did you feel that perhaps you could have been ahead by even more than one i think we created a few opportunities yeah that we maybe could have um pinched but i think second half they've they've, they've, like they've had one or two but uh, yeah i think first half maybe we could have had two yeah and in the second half, that's probably the most amount of pressure that this side have come under for quite some time, isn't it? Yeah, it was good, and it was good to see him battling the other side of football, where you've got to dig out results and, and grind and do your job, you know, and uh, on the defensive side. And, and I thought overall they did OK. And pleasing to see Connor Henderson back after a long-term injury. Yeah, and also it was, we've had a few today. We've had Connor, we've had uh, Thomas as well. It's nice to see them playing again, and it was uh, nice to see him in the uh, red shirt of Arsenal. And Thomas Eisfeld is perhaps seen by some as a midfielder. He's playing up front tonight, but he, he did well, didn't he? Yeah, well, we tried, we tried something a little different. We said, look, play up there, but maybe come and play in midfield so we have four and break from wide areas. A little bit tactically different. And, you know, it took him a little bit of time, but he, he did ever so well for the team. And he's played 70 minutes and it's his first game, so he's come through fine. That's the main thing. And have you, have you learnt something about, about some of the guys in the team because of that second half performance, the way they dug in? Yeah, I think it shows you that they've got spirit and they've got determination not to get beat. And that's a part, big part of being a footballer at the top level. And, you know, if I said to him, if you take that on through your careers, wherever you are, if you've got that, you're not going to lose, you're not going to get beat, you're going to be a winner, you give yourself a chance at some level.